Audiobook provided by TaughtToProfit.com Introduction I just turned 16 when a friend came over to visit wearing a very nice full-length cashmere coat. It's the kind of coat a successful businessman would wear. But we were both in high school, and the only money we had coming in was working part-time scooping ice cream at a Baskin-Robbins store. So I knew he must have gotten it as a gift. My grandfather gave it to me, he said. But he made me read a book first. That book was As a Man Thinketh by James Allen. It's a good book, my friend said. A few days later, when I saw him again, he said to me, I told my grandfather you liked my coat. Said he has a similar one for you, if you'll read the book, like I did. I wanted that coat, so I took him up on the offer. Imagine my surprise when the book was smaller than a deck of cards and only a few pages. A pretty good deal, I thought. That was my first exposure to what has become known as the law of attraction, and my side of the deal has been much better than a nice coat to wear. It's been several years since this happened, but the concept Earl Nightingale described as the strangest secret has stuck with me in all aspects of my life, from personal to business. In short, we become what we think about. I've written several books on the subject of law of attraction, especially when it comes to wealth building. This book, The Rich Switch, is my version of the book that was handed to me as a teenager. It's short and direct, without any filler. The Rich Switch takes the most powerful concepts behind the law of attraction and breaks them down into an easy-to-implement three-step formula. When put together, these three steps yield powerful results. The formula within this book has worked for millions of people. It will work for you. Like my friend's grandfather, I hope that you'll find this information worthy enough to share with the other people in your life. It's truly life-changing and a powerful way to affect the world in a positive way. How to get what you want right now. Are you wondering why you haven't had more success in your life? If so, you're not alone. In fact, if you want more success in your life, especially in the areas of career, money, relationships, and health, you should be wondering. Deep within us is an ability for massive success so powerful that nothing can stop it. This innate ability is what I refer to as the rich switch. If you're not aware such power exists, it's because you haven't yet learned how to turn it on. The rich switch isn't just about money, although that is what a great portion of this book focuses on, since money is so easy to attain. The rich switch is about wealth in all its forms. You can use it to improve your relationships, health, or whatever else you'd like. So how do you activate it? If you compare yourself to other people, it's easy to wonder why they may be more successful than you. It's no secret that different people achieve a widely varying amount of success in their lives. You probably made these observations at some point and wondered why this is true. Why does success among people vary so widely? And why does this success not always correspond to where these people are living, who they are, and what their backgrounds have been? Have you ever seen a rich person lose everything only to have it all back and then some within months? Did you know that 80% of lottery winners, even those who win multi-million dollar jackpots, are broke within five years of winning? In fact, they actually have less money after five years than they did the day before they won the lottery. How did this happen? The answer in both cases? The rich switch. Now here's the good news. It is possible to activate the rich switch and learn the key methods of how to manifest all you desire and apply these elements to all aspects of your life. Once you begin to believe it is possible to create the life you want based on your thoughts, you'll start seeing results right away. I used to wonder why there were so many differences in the levels of success and happiness of people around the world. As a result, I made it one of my goals to find out what makes certain people better at attracting the lives of their dreams. I hoped, once I had the answer to this question, I would change my life and pass along what I learned so you could change yours as well. Changing your life is the purpose of this book and exactly what it will help you to do. Here's more good news for you, which will make the process easy. I found a short series of instructions on how to manifest with ease. They're very simple and easy to follow. You can use these instructions at any time in your own life to manifest more money, success, and happiness. Trust me, these instructions work if you give them a try. You will find that the results will appear to be magic, although it isn't really magic at all. These instructions have been producing amazing results for people just like you for centuries. There is no restriction as to how often or how much you can use them. Don't worry if your friends or family tell you the steps you are about to learn can't possibly work. Just remember, there is always someone who will be telling you something is impossible. The majority of human beings are great at focusing on what can't be done, or what they think can't be done. Yet how many things, which were impossible at one time, are now being done on a daily basis? Nothing is impossible. 
We use that word not for things that can't be done, but for things that haven't been done yet. Henry Ford said it best when he said, whether you believe you can do a thing or not, you are right. What you will achieve in life is based on your expectations. You have all the power you need already within you to manifest your dreams, hopes, and desires and watch them become reality. When you follow the short set of instructions presented in this book, you will start seeing your dreams come true. You will find that you are getting great results both quickly and easily. The rich switch is already within you. It simply needs to be activated in order to work properly. Like a light switch, this can be done instantly if you know how. By the time you finish this book, you'll know exactly how, since I've broken the process down into simple steps that are easy to follow and understand. The Power of Words Before we get started on step one, it's important that you understand the great power of words. This is especially true for words written on paper. If you were to take a piece of paper and write a letter to your mother, you could get a totally different result with the words, I love you, than with the words, I hate you. Even reading those different examples probably gave you a different emotional reaction. Yet, the message is done with the same ink and on the same paper. Just one word makes all the difference. This is the power of words. Unlike spoken words, words on paper are a physical manifestation of thought. In other words, you have a thought in your head and are translating it to something you can hold, rather than something intangible. Speaking your truth via words is extremely important and powerful, but words translated into something physical give them special power. All of us have had verbal arguments at one time or another. During arguments, words are often spoken without thought. Although this can be hurtful, it's nothing like the hurt of poison pen letters, which require more effort to create and can be viewed again and again by the recipient, wounding again each time. Anybody who's ever received a Dear John letter can relate to this. The power of the written word is massive. Fortunately, this power works both ways and can be used for something positive. For this reason, writing your desires on paper is the first step in activating the rich switch. Step 1. Write it to ignite it. The first step to activate the rich switch within you is to keep a written journal of all the things you want. Keep this list in a special place and review it several times per day. Listen to the following instructions. Commit them to memory. You may think writing a list of your desires sounds simple and may not make a difference. However, remember that your words have power and making a physical manifestation of those words in the form of a list has even greater power. Step one consists of four separate parts. Follow each part for best results. Number one, write a list of all the things you want in your life. While you're writing and thinking about your list, don't censor yourself. Don't tell yourself that any of your goals are too big or impossible to attain. Instead, write what your heart and soul truly desire. Number two, when you have your list ready, review it at least three times each day. At the very minimum, review your list when you get up in the morning, around lunchtime, and again when you go to bed. Number three, in addition to reviewing your list, at other times of the day, keep your focus on your goals and how it would feel to already have accomplished them. Number four, do not discuss your ideas or what you want with anyone. Keep it all inside your mind. Remember, the source within you has a power that will manifest these desires. Don't worry about forcing any kind of schedule for manifesting your results. They will come to you at the quickest and best time possible. Setting a schedule would limit this. Note, the one exception to the rule about not discussing your ideas or goals with others is when you are talking about things within an organized mastermind group. I'll give you details about mastermind groups and how to form one for yourself later in the book. At a certain point, your objective mind will deliver to you a strategy for accomplishing your goals. It is for this reason, as you make your list, you should not focus on how you will get the things on it. Thinking about the how too early in the process will limit the list of what you really want to what you consciously think you can achieve. Your thinking mind will be your biggest obstacle to activating the rich switch and letting it work for you. The process is not logical, so don't think about it. Just make the list. The information you need about how things will happen will come to you later in the process and it will be automatic, so no thinking is required. Don't worry if the items on your list keep changing. It's very common for things to change and adapt as you add new wants and desires. As people change, plans change. Changing and adapting what you want is a very normal and natural phenomenon. If you feel what you want is changing, just embrace this feeling and go with it. You are doing everything perfectly. If you start to hear a little voice in the back of your head tell you that you'll never achieve the goals on your list or that they are impossible, simply ignore that voice. 
The best way to do this is to fill your mind with reasons why you will achieve your goals. If you're having doubts about your ability to achieve your goals, remember it's totally natural to have doubts. About 99% of people have doubts about their ability to achieve their goals at some point or another. If you're having doubts, that just shows you're in a process of expansion and in the middle of increasing your ability to manifest. Again, this is normal. You couldn't get where you want to go if you were to stay who you are now. Part of the reason that we have doubts is because we've picked up on the negativity of others around us. This is also normal, and the power these negative thoughts have on you will become less with time. If you feel as though the people in your life are not being sincerely supportive of your goals, limit your exposure to them. It's crucial to keep yourself from being impacted by the beliefs or words of negative people. A great way to bring your focus back to something positive is to review your list and to create another copy of it, putting focus on each item as you write. Do this as often as you like, and always know in your heart you are as capable of having as much love, wealth, and happiness as anyone on the planet. Getting ideas for new goals and desires is a good thing. Generating new wants and goals is part of the process. When this happens, simply take your new goals and add them to the top of your list. If you feel it is better to remove older goals from your list, go right ahead. Again, this is all part of the process and totally normal. Remember, people change and plans change. If you're like most people, you may have added make more money to your list. As I've mentioned before, remember to be specific about this and all of your goals. Add to your list exactly how much money you want to make. Set a deadline for when you would like to receive this money. The more specific you are with the details of what you want, the better results you'll get. When you are writing your list, add as much detail as possible. For example, if you want a new job, include the specifics of the job. What is your salary? What is your boss like? What does the office look like? The more details you can add to the description of your goals, the better. Always leave room for something more, though. It is for this reason that I suggest adding the statement, I want this or something better, to the end of every list you create. When timing is concerned, you may want to add as quickly as possible. Writing things down is like placing an order. So think of your list as an order form. How many do you need? What color? What type of shipping is needed? The more clear and confident you are in what you want, the faster it will manifest. Acknowledge your manifestations as they come in. There is no such thing as coincidence, and being aware of this will help you improve your capacity to manifest both quickly and easily. Remember, the more faith and trust you have in the process, the better it works. Each time you turn on the rich switch to manifest the results you want and let yourself experience happiness and faith in the process, you will be even better at creating results next time. Your power to use the rich switch and the manifestation abilities that come with it will grow in direct proportion to the faith you have in your higher power. As a reminder, it is very important that you strive to feel happy and grateful for what you already have in your life. In particular, you want to be grateful to your inner self for manifesting the results you've already received, even before you became aware of this process. The abundance you are looking ahead to already partially exists in your life, and your present condition is just as magnificent as the conditions you are seeking. Combining these instructions with faith, belief, and gratitude will bring you more than you can consciously imagine. Infuse your words with even more power. To help the process work much faster for you, before you write your list, go through the following steps to help gain clarity and unblock anything that may be keeping you from having what you desire. 1. Define what you want. As easy as it sounds, deciding what you want is an important step. It is likely that you are pretty used to thinking about what you can't have or what you don't want. It is now time to start thinking about what you do want to achieve in your life. 2. Change your belief patterns. At first, it might be difficult for you to shift your thinking toward what you do want. Changing your thoughts can only happen if you change your beliefs about what is truly possible for you to manifest. Holding on to various beliefs becomes habit. As we know, habits can be hard to break and to turn from negative to positive. However, it can be done. You are capable of doing it. When you were a baby, someone helped you walk your first steps. Imagine if they taught you to walk in a completely different way than the way you walk now. Instead, they taught you to wave your right hand in the air as you took each step. Now imagine for a moment how it would feel if you grew up in a world where everyone waved their right hands in the air when they walked. You would have no idea that any other way of walking was acceptable. You would believe that this was the only way to walk properly. But what if one day you had the notion that there was another way? 
Even though you would question whether it was possible and you might be afraid to go against the norm, you still couldn't let go of the feeling that another way of doing things, or another belief, could become a part of your life. Changing your current beliefs is exactly the same. Some things will be easier to let go of than others. But please keep in mind, the beliefs you know are holding you back from having what you want can be replaced simply by choosing a new belief, fertilizing this new belief with positive thought, and then allowing it to grow into something beautiful. 3. Recognizing the power already within you. Everyone has a magnificent force inside. This force is powerful and waiting to serve you. This force is known by a variety of different names. It has been called the soul, the unconscious, God, and the universe. No matter what you call it, it's there for you. Open your heart to this force and let it guide you to your desires. In order to bring about what you want, you need to do more than just hope for it. The powerful force inside of you needs to be activated. The force is activated by combining belief, faith, and gratitude. Have these three things in the forefront of your mind, and you will be unstoppable. This is important, so I'm going to repeat it in the form of an easy-to-remember equation. The rich switch equals belief plus faith plus gratitude. The more belief, faith, or gratitude you have, the greater your results will be. If you are having trouble with any of these elements, try to think of current situations in your life where you are easily able to apply them. For example, if you're having trouble with faith, find something in your life of which you are positive. Do you know the sun will rise tomorrow? Sure you do. Analyze the feeling behind this and transpose it to other aspects in your life. As you see your power to manifest become greater, faith in all aspects of your life will become easier and easier. 4. Avoid negativity. It is a good idea not to absorb or react to any negativity from your friends, family, co-workers, or any other outside influences you feel are not supportive of you. Instead, focus your energies on what you want to achieve. The truth is, when we change, everyone who surrounds us changes how they respond to us. The best way for you to avoid negativity is to change the way you respond to it. When someone says something negative, most people either react to it, take it personally, or absorb the negativity within themselves without saying a word. While you can't stop people from speaking critically, you can begin to consciously respond to their comments and actions rather than react. A good way to do this is to close your eyes and visualize the negative energy bouncing off you and dissipating into the air. Perhaps you are wondering, aren't respond and react the same thing? The answer is no. A reaction is automatic, unconscious, and not thought out in advance. When you react, you are doing so based on emotion and ego. A response is a chosen action based on your ability to respond with forethought. When you respond, a certain event happens, and you have the choice on what will happen next. How can you best respond to negativity and negative people? When harsh words are spoken toward you, silently make the conscious decision to offer the person who is speaking your compassion and understanding, knowing that hurtful words are only spoken by those who are wounded themselves. Ideally, it is best to avoid negative people and to avoid the situation entirely. However, we are not always ready or able to do this. Once you begin to respond differently toward negativity, such as described above, you will see a shift in negative people as well. Everyone is on his or her own path, and negative people hold an important place in our lives, even if just to show us what type of behavior to avoid. However, do not let the lack of awareness, the fear, and the ignorance of other people hold you back from fulfilling your purpose. Step 2. You get what you give. Giving to charity is an extremely powerful way to activate your rich switch. In fact, it's so powerful that there are two ways through which you can both give to charity and help yourself to achieve better results in your life. The first way to give to charity is through tithing. The traditional definition of tithing was to give 10% of your income to the church. The concept of tithing has come a long way since then. Today, tithing involves giving part of your income to a charity, person, or a concept that you feel inspiring. If you are someone who does not tithe because you haven't found an organization that compels you enough to donate, ask yourself how you would like to help others and what you're passionate about. If you're an entrepreneur, perhaps you want to tithe to an organization like Kiva.org, which allows you to donate money to people in other countries who are creating small businesses. If you're passionate about animals, perhaps you want to tithe to a local animal shelter. You can even tithe directly to an individual you feel is making a difference in a way you feel is inspiring. Tithing should always involve donating money. Even though you could donate your time to many great causes, 
for the purpose of this specific exercise, make the choice to give of your money. It is key because the act of donating your money demonstrates to your higher power that you believe in the free-flowing system of money. Giving money freely to others will allow money to return easily to you. Tithing is a way to make the statement that you have abandoned any fears about scarcity or lack of money in your life. You are also confirming that you believe there are enough resources to go around for everyone and that you will always have enough in the way of provisions. Remember the equation. The rich switch equals belief plus faith plus gratitude. Before you make your donation, make sure you are full of positive energy. When you make the donation, fully enjoy the experience of giving. When you give to charity with no anticipation of getting anything back yourself, it's a wonderful experience. You're opening your heart, giving yourself in the most humble way. When you donate to improve the lives of others, and when you give with sincerity and compassion, rewards will always come back to you. Remember that everything in this book should feel comfortable and have a sense of ease. While tithing is a great way to show your faith in a higher power, if you're not there yet, don't let that stop you from donating money at all. Something which will help you to feel good about giving money is knowing how much the money you donate will mean to people and how it will improve their lives. A great example of how a little money will go a long way is a $20 donation to CharityWater.org. This will give one person in Africa clean, safe drinking water for 20 years. I'll list similar charities where a little money goes a long way later in the book. Start where you are and build upon it. The important thing is that you do something. If you're not accustomed to donating money to charity, make sure you monitor how you feel before and after giving. Chances are you'll feel fantastic. After giving money, it's common to feel a surge of positive energy and a general sense of lightness. Knowing you acted in a way which will genuinely help others is a powerful way to use your energy. You'll also feel a definite sense of joy. The second part of this charity exercise involves looking through your house and gathering bags of various things you no longer need or use. These things can consist of clothing, furniture, books, souvenirs, shoes, and more. When you look around your house, if you're like most people, there's a lot of clutter including a lot of things you no longer need or use. When we use the rich switch to bring about changes in our lives, we are looking to release the energies and attachments from the past. Anything you no longer need or use is fair game. Even get rid of the things you might use someday. Also, if you have objects that you feel remind you of a life in the past that you're trying to move away from, these are ideal things to donate to charity. Fill up a big bag or bags and give these items to your favorite local charity to benefit other people. When you want to manifest new and better things in your life, it's a good idea to clear out space to show the universe you have room for more. Donating old things demonstrates that you're anticipating new things to enter your life and that you're clearing out space in advance. Both the tithing exercise as well as the donation exercise activate a force of positive energy to flow in and out of your life. Gripping onto money or possessions keeps you from having the experience of receiving more than you ever have in the past. Be just as open to releasing as you are to receiving. Painless Ways to Give to Charity Many people forgo giving to charity because they feel a sense of lack in their own lives. How can you give money away when you need more money? Although this is counterintuitive, it is one of the most important aspects of the rich switch. Giving money away shows that you trust you will have your needs met. As has been mentioned previously, everything regarding the rich switch should be fun and enjoyable. The secret to getting the most out of this step in the process isn't how much you give, but how you go about giving it. Here are some suggestions which make charitable giving painless, even for people who think they can't afford to give money away. By following these suggestions, you will see that you have more money than you need and increase your capacity to give painlessly and joyfully in the future. Number one, even one dollar makes a difference. Dollars add up. Giving ten dollars a month can make a big difference when it's done by you and several thousand people. Get on an auto pay plan and forget about it. Even in the toughest economy, it's unlikely you'll miss $10. Many grocery stores and fast food restaurants offer an option to add $1 for charity when paying. If you're given this option, say yes, this money adds up. Number two, got any spare change? We all do. Save your spare change and donate it at the end of the month. Coinstar, the self-service coin counting kiosk, will automatically count your money and donate it to a charity of your choice, including American Red Cross, March of Dimes, World Wildlife Fund, and UNICEF. This program has already raised over $20 million for these charities and others. Number three, donate 10% of your stuff. Charities like Goodwill and the Salvation Army will take household items such as electronics, clothing, books, and furniture as charitable donations. 
Go through items in your home looking for things you rarely or never use. For example, a winter coat you might use just a couple of days per year. This takes up space that could be used for something else. If you think you'll use something in the future, give it away. You can always buy another one in the future if needed. Giving away things is not only a way to help people in need, it also shows that you trust your higher power to provide for you. The bottom line in giving to charity. Whether you donate money or resources to a cause, you are contributing to something that you feel has importance. Based on the law of attraction, whatever energy you put out must come back to you. In short, taking care of others will make sure that you're taken care of as well. Giving to a cause you believe in shows the universe not only that you trust you'll be provided for, but also that you understand there is a higher purpose for the money in your life. It shows the universe you get the interconnectivity of all living things and that what we call life is about something much bigger than just you. Whether you decide to donate money or not, it doesn't reflect on how good you are as a person. From a rich switch perspective, it is far better for you not to donate money if you feel the donation is forced or makes you resentful. With that said, if you're not donating money now, I hope that you'll stay open to the idea. It's easy to start the habit with pocket change, and the good results you'll get from donating are massive. Step 3. Evoking the Power of the Mastermind Mastering the rich switch is much easier and faster when you have the proper support group in your life. This section of the book is a bonus, which will help you to find and organize the right people in your life, to combine your power with the power of others, and to create a super rich switch. Think of how powerful the sun is. It both lights and heats the earth. What happens when you put a magnifying glass under the sun's light? That energy is focused in a single spot, which makes it even more powerful. What if each of your friends grabbed a magnifying glass and joined you in focusing the light they received on the exact same spot? This section shows you how to focus the power of the rich switch in a similar way. The Mastermind. How to establish and run your mastermind group. Are you looking to make great things happen in your life? Do you have an idea of the success you would like to achieve but feel as though you are not moving quickly enough toward these goals? If these statements sound like they apply to you, a mastermind group could be the perfect solution. After working with the group, you will find new ideas, solutions, and answers come to you more easily. You will feel more positive and motivated about your life and situations therein. A mastermind group is ideal if you're working toward goals in your life and feel you need inspiration, empathy, and support. People have found time and time again that these groups have powers that will seem almost magical to you as you witness not only your life change, but the lives of others change as well. Many successful people have used mastermind groups, and many consider their mastermind groups as being vital to their success. While they were in the process of achieving their goals, they met regularly with these groups to discuss their milestones, goals, and how to deal with any particular obstacles they encountered along the way. Ideally, a mastermind group is usually small in members. The optimal number of members is six or seven. This number is big enough to get varying feedback, yet small enough to where the group can be easily organized. Because the optimal number of members for a mastermind group is small, it may be difficult to find a group to join. Therefore, if you're looking to be part of a group, chances are that the best way to do it is to start a new group yourself. Most people who believe in the principle of the mastermind believe not just in the achievement of business success, but in personal development success as well. The saying, like attracts like, not only applies to people you will attract into your mastermind group, but it is the cornerstone of how each person in the group will go about achieving their success. Simply put, whatever you focus on will result in your receiving more of that in your life. If you are looking to achieve certain milestones, the best way to achieve them is by focusing on them and what you can put in place to make sure those milestones are inevitable. If you're sitting around your house bemoaning how your goals and milestones are too difficult, the chances are high that you will never obtain those goals. A successful mastermind group will keep your focus on your goals as well as develop ideas on the conditions you can put in place to make sure those goals will happen without question. The feedback and support you'll receive from a mastermind group is invaluable. When forming your mastermind group, seek out the company of like-minded individuals. You want to surround yourself with driven people who are working in the same direction as you are. Your achievements will be heightened and most likely will arrive even quicker when you are part of a group of people all focusing on similar things. Until you've actually experienced participating in a mastermind group yourself, it's easy to discount its importance. The truth of the matter is, participating in a group where all members are helping each other to manifest their goals can be a transformative experience. 
When you are in a group, you will find yourself surrendering to the process of manifesting and lifted by the power of other people working towards similar goals. There really is no replacement for the positive energy of a group whose members are seeking to progress in the same direction. You will find that in a mastermind group, your fellow group members will keep your attitude in check and offer your support to realign with positive energies when things are not going as expected. You will learn how to improve your own thinking and attitude by hearing stories from your group members. One of the most important things you'll gain from participating in a mastermind group will be the impact it has on you at a subconscious level. When you are in a group of like-minded individuals, you will find that you don't have to expend so much energy to motivate yourself. The positive feelings and enthusiasm of the group will lift your spirits and keep you progressing in the right direction. These days, mastermind groups all over the world are held either by phone or via online chat. While these methods of connecting are convenient and effective, there is no substitution for the dynamic energy which is exchanged when a group meets in person. When you create your group, Try to add a local meetup element, or if the group has members located at a distance from where you live, consider planning an event where everyone can get together monthly or at least several times per year. One of the benefits of joining a mastermind group is that all the members begin to share in what is called a collective mind. This is much like linking several individual computers together and putting them to work on the same problem. The premise of the collective mind is to have different minds with different experiences and specialized knowledge working together and heading in the same positive direction. In the process of coming together, a collective conscious begins to emerge. For this reason, it is important that the people in your mastermind group share similar modes of thinking and values. Before you begin your group, it is essential to ensure as best you can that the members of your mastermind group be on the same page. Napoleon Hill first coined the term mastermind group in his seminal book, Think and Grow Rich. Hill described the mastermind group as two or more minds working actively together in perfect harmony toward a common definitive object. Think and Grow Rich, which was written almost 100 years ago, illustrates patterns of how some of the most successful and wealthy people in history approached the achievement of success. Napoleon Hill wrote how the mastermind group was used by the famous millionaire industrialist Andrew Carnegie and how he successfully used mastermind groups in the early days of his career. Hill wrote, Mr. Carnegie's mastermind group consisted of a staff of approximately 50 men with whom he has surrounded himself for the definitive power of manufacturing and marketing steel. He attributed his entire fortune to the power he accumulated through this mastermind. The power of participating in this group was essential in launching Carnegie's career. Many other famous leaders and trailblazers used mastermind groups to achieve rapid and monumental success. Starting your own mastermind group. Now that you understand the importance of a mastermind group, a powerful opportunity awaits you. Why not begin your own mastermind group? If you decide to begin your own group, you can choose the members, the method of meeting, and the direction of the group. Additionally, if you start your own mastermind group, you'll likely take on the role as a leader and facilitator. This is a great opportunity for you to grow. Want to start the group yourself but have somebody else be the leader? If you pick the right people for your group, there will likely be a suitable person who is eager to be the leader. Perhaps you can alternate leadership with another group member as an option. Regardless of who leads your group or the specifics as to how it is run, there really should be nothing that holds you back from getting started. There are unlimited possibilities as to how you could run things, so don't get caught up in thinking things must be done a certain way. However you decide to do things is the right way. Establishing a new mastermind group is a great opportunity to be creative and to develop your power to manifest. Like with all areas of your business and life, you get to create the most ideal experience for you. Yes, there will be some compromising that will need to take place since you'll want to be accommodating to others in the group, but you will be guiding this process. One of the most important aspects of a mastermind, helping others to achieve their goals, is also one of the most rewarding. This is especially true when you facilitate or lead the group. When you see other members of your group succeeding and manifesting great things in the world, you will know that you had a hand in helping with that success. This is very powerful, as it will be more proof that you are growing in your ability to manifest. Your ability to manifest is the number one reason for being in a mastermind group. Whether you manifest something for yourself or help to manifest something for another member, it's all the same. Like any relationship, the one you have with other members in your group will not always be 50-50. Don't worry about this. If you give without getting back right away, you are still getting something, which is practice manifesting. 
Once this skill is adequately developed, you can use it for yourself all you want. Guidelines for finding members for your mastermind group. For better or for worse, people are highly influenced by other people around them. That's why it's so crucial to avoid spending time with negative people. Even if you are an extremely strong-minded person, negativity still affects you. We align our feelings and beliefs with those of the people around us. When you choose your mastermind group members, you can assemble people who you think will work well together and complement one another in the achievement of their individual hopes and dreams. A great positive energy is gained from the feeling of genuinely helping others to achieve their goals. There are certain guidelines for finding and choosing members for your mastermind group, which will allow the group to be its most beneficial. If you are starting a mastermind group from scratch, follow these guidelines to ensure you have the best experience possible. One, find members whom you feel are more successful than you. When you are looking for members for your mastermind group, it is a good idea to find members whom you feel are more successful than you. However, keep in mind that this rule and the word successful does not have to apply to people who have more money than you. You can have someone in your group who has very little money, but whom you feel is extremely inspiring to you when it comes to how they handle their personal relationships. Or perhaps you'll find someone whom, again, has less money than you, but is completely on target with his or her ability to manage time and get things done. Again, the idea of being successful does not have to apply to just money. So don't just choose members for your group based on who you know is wealthy. After all, as we know, there are plenty of wealthy people who have negative attitudes and are struggling in many other areas of life. The idea here is that you want to choose members for your mastermind group who you can learn from, and what you learn will not always be about money. Finding people who have achieved even more than you in multiple areas is a great way for you to expand success in all areas of your life, not just financial ones. Ideally, your mastermind group should consist of people who have been successful in many different areas of their lives. Those who get the big picture are much more valuable to the group than specialists who only get one aspect of success. Putting together a group with people who have a good life balance with success in many areas will set up a great group dynamic, which will get you much better results. Two, find members who are dedicated. It's important to make sure you find members who are dedicated to the group and its goals. So everyone will receive the maximum benefit. Members need to have the same commitment to attend all meetings. They will need to be on time, prepared, and have the ability to focus on each meeting without distraction. When you connect with a prospective member, you should inquire about this person's vision and future goals, both short and long term, to help you determine if this potential member is truly serious about participating. As it is of paramount importance that this new member will be dedicated to participating in the group, also make sure of his or her ability to complete life tasks and other projects. Many people say they are committed and have the best intentions. But simply don't follow through to attend meetings. Others tie up more than their share of group resources, refuse to take responsibility for their own actions, and look at everybody but themselves when something goes wrong. These are not the types of people you want in your group. When you're meeting potential members, ask questions to get a feel for who they are, but also use your gut instinct to determine whether they're right for the group and ready to manifest. Don't be fooled by slick talkers. They're usually not the ones for whom you are looking. Once you set a schedule for your mastermind group, be clear that it is everyone's responsibility to attend group meetings on a regular basis. Others who have benefited from mastermind groups in the past have reported that groups function best if the same members are present at each meeting with the same level of commitment and enthusiasm. If you set a regular schedule and find that there is someone in the group who is missing meetings, shows up late, or leaves early, it may be time for you to politely remove this person from your mastermind group. As mentioned before, many people are simply not ready to put the effort and dedication into their goals like a successful mastermind group requires. A mastermind group is not for everyone. If you are connected to a person who is not at the same speed as the rest of the group, disharmony occurs. The reason why people miss group meetings is because their subconscious minds guide them not to attend. When you see this happening, let the person go. In general, don't feel bad turning people down or letting them go. You want to foster a sense of trust among group members. To do this, each member of the group must know that other members are equally as dedicated. If you have somebody who isn't dedicated to the group, he or she can poison the entire thing for everyone. Three, find members who are creative. When you are choosing members for your mastermind group, seek out individuals whom you feel are following creative and inspiring paths. 
Make sure you ask people what goals and plans they want to work on in the mastermind group and also what they have to offer the group. When they tell you their ideas, you will likely get a clear insight as to whether or not they're good matches for the group. You want to find people who are passionate about their goals and excited about their futures. When you find people who seem to have a negative attitude about their goals, it is likely a good idea to pass on asking them to join. Negative people can achieve goals, but negativity does not foster the environment you are looking to cultivate in your mastermind group. On a similar note, you may find people who are excited about their goals, but you don't feel their journeys would be interesting to the rest of the mastermind group. Goals like planning a garden, cleaning clutter, or making an extra $100 per week with a part-time job are all valuable goals and certainly legitimate ones. However, you may feel that people with more dynamic paths ahead of them are a better match for your group. Of course, there are exceptions to this rule. If you encounter someone and truly feel as though this person would be a great member of the group, even though they do not fit the standard criteria, it's still okay to accept them. Remember, this is your mastermind group, and you can run it any way you like. Even a person with the most basic goals may be the perfect complement to the other group members. Additionally, this person may grow, develop, and transform through the mastermind group process, becoming a new and more dynamic person. As an example, you may have mastermind members who aspire to run six-figure-per-year companies and one who aspires to run a nonprofit organization. Even though the goals are different, in certain situations, opposites can learn a great deal from each other. Use your best judgment to decide what will work and what won't. Four, strategies for finding group members. A strategy many successful mastermind group planners have used is to initially start the group with one or two key people. Most people already know at least one person who would be perfect for a mastermind group. If you have a friend who is determined, motivated, and has a positive attitude, he or she may be an ideal candidate. When you are telling potential members about the group, you can describe to them what your goals are as well as let them know about the interests and backgrounds of current members. As you are looking for new members to round out the group, try to match the energy and interest of people already in the group. Congruency is vital for a successful mastermind group. You don't always have to agree, and you shouldn't always agree, but the members must be on the same page energetically if you want your group to last. Don't be afraid to ask people deemed as very successful to join the group holding on to the assumption that someone who has achieved so much would not want to be in a group with people who have not yet reached their level. Again, you want to learn and grow from people who are very accomplished already. Keep in mind... Just because someone has already been very successful does not mean that they won't feel your group will bring them even more success. If you pick the right people for your group, regardless of their level of success, everyone will have something to offer. How to find a mastermind group. If, for whatever reason, you do not want to start your own mastermind group, find a group either in your area or online. To meet in person, you can visit websites like meetup.com, or Craigslist and do a search using the term mastermind group. You may get lucky and you may find a group that just happens to be looking for a new member. If you can't find a mastermind group in your area, consider looking for a law of attraction group due in part to the extremely successful movie, the secret. Many law of attraction groups have been formed around the world. In these groups, people get together to discuss the law of attraction principles and to share experiences of deliberate manifestation Gathering with others who practice the law of attraction will be very useful in deepening your belief and strengthening convictions. If you can find and choose to join a law of attraction group, you may find members of the group who want to begin a separate mastermind group. Most people who are part of this sort of group will be looking to bring about positive experiences and events in their lives. Start talking with people casually to inquire if they may be interested in starting a smaller group specifically geared to be a mastermind group with focus on a more specific niche, such as business, relationships, or health. If you are looking to join a mastermind group online, search for message boards where like-minded people post messages and interact with each other on a regular basis. Become part of the community, and then, once people get to know you, ask if they would like to start a group separate from the message board. Congratulations! You have reached the end of the main portion of the Rich Switch. You have all the necessary information for taking total command of your Rich Switch, and manifesting anything you want. Should you have a moment of doubt or feel as if you strayed out of alignment with what you want, listen to this audio again and reread your list of goals. Do this as often as you need to. Give of yourself, your money, and your talents. 
Show you are grateful and remember that as you give, you will receive. Talk to the people in your mastermind group. They're there to help you get back on your path. You can have all the success you desire and more. You can have everything you want. You just need to believe it will be. Want a few more secrets on making the rich switch easier and even more powerful? Keep listening for an important message. Charity Suggestions As giving money away is one of the best ways to activate the law of attraction, the following is a list of charities where donating what most people listening would consider a small amount of money will dramatically improve the lives of those who receive the donations. Donating money to the charities I'm going to list right now, or charities like them, is especially powerful since the donation recipients are children and none will be able to repay you. Charity Water, online at charitywater.org. $20 can give a person in Africa clean, safe drinking water for 20 years. Smile Train, online at smiletrain.org. $250 provides life-changing cleft lip and palate surgery to children in developing countries. International Children's Heart Foundation, online at babyheart.org. One child can have life-saving heart surgery for only $2,000. More options? Visit idealist.org and guidestar.org for more charity options, including searchable databases of nonprofit organizations and other information to help you make an informed giving decision. Thank you for listening to The Rich Switch, the simple three-step system to turn on instant wealth using the Law of Attraction. To learn more about using The Rich Switch, go to richswitch.com. Also, to purchase the print version of this book, visit amazon.com. And now, a special message from author David Hooper. Hey, it's David Hooper here, author of The Rich Switch, and I am in a recording studio right now in Nashville, Tennessee, on Music Row, where I have just finished recording, voicing, the audiobook version of the book, The Rich Switch. And as I've been looking over this manuscript for the last several hours, I was thinking, you know, I really want this information to be accessible to as many people as possible. So what I've decided to do is give the audio version away for free, you're listening to it, you got it for free, and it's my gift to you. I hope that you enjoy it, and not only do I hope that you'll enjoy it, I hope that you enjoy it enough that you will burn copies, make MP3s of this information, send them to your friends, and tell people about the rich switch and the power of the content that is included in it, the mastermind group, and how you must write it to ignite it and have a list of goals and go over that stuff every day to manifest your desires more quickly and easily. Now, I've got some bonus information. There's also a print version of The Rich Switch. It's a small book, a little bit longer than uh, the information that we have here, but it's got some great information about continuing uh, with the Mastermind Principle. It shows you how to run your Mastermind meetings and shows you some great things that you can do to stay in a place of positivity and get out of negative thought patterns. It's under 5 bucks and it's available everywhere. If you go to Amazon.com and if you search for Rich Switch, you can get a copy right now mailed to you under five bucks. What kind of bargain is that? Now, if you like the information in the print book and if you like the information in the audio book, I would appreciate while you are at Amazon.com, if you'll take a moment to give me a good review. Just let everybody know that you enjoyed the book and let everybody know that they should get it too because this information is important. Now, what happens if you didn't enjoy the book? Well, for one, you probably wouldn't have gotten that far, but I want you to contact me and let me know why? Let me know how I can improve it and what I can do to reach out to you to show these concepts to you and to get it to where you get it. So contact me, richswitch.com. And actually, anybody can do this. And if you go visit richswitch.com right now, I've got some great free gifts for everybody, more audio from me, more printed books from me, more PDFs, more information about the law of attraction and how you can manifest more money, better health, better relationships, and anything you want out of your life. So, again, spread the word. Feel free to make copies of this audio. And please, buy the book at Amazon.com and spread the word with that as well. Appreciate you listening to this. And check me out online at richswitch.com. Audiobook provided by TaughtToProfit.com.